Hi gang, Scott Davenport here, and today's video is about single image edits in Luminar 4. These are a little different than edits for photos that are part of your Luminar catalog, and sometimes there may be a condition where you want to just do a quick edit on a photo, but not add it to your catalog. Like in my case, if I get a photo from a friend that says, you know, hey Scott, can you do something with this? I may do it as a single image edit, so I don't have to go through adding it to a catalog and, and keeping track of it that way. And the way Luminar handles this is with what's called a single image edit. So you know, normally you've pointed your Luminar catalog, you've told it, look at a folder and there's a bunch of subfolders and all these images show up. But for a single image edit, we go up to edit single image. And in this case, I'll just select this photo right here. Now I'm not adding this to my catalog immediately pops me over into the edit module. I want to exit the edit module just for a minute so you can see what happened at the library level. So at the library level, there's now this shortcut called single image edits and there's one photo in there, this one that I just opened. This is not part of any of these folders that I have in my catalog. This is just this one-off photo that, that Luminar is keeping track of in this single image edit. So it's still sitting exactly where I had it on my computer. This was on the desktop. And now I can make changes to it in Luminar. I'll start in Enhance. We'll just do some quick things here. Punch that sky up a little bit, uh, add a little structure. I'll pop back up to light, open up the shadows a touch. There feels like there's a, a bit of a, a greenish color cast, probably because a lot of that green over coloring there. Let's, let's see about removing that cast some. That's not too bad. So you get the, they get the notion here. So I've made some basic edits to it. And now if I return to the library module, and I still have my single edits here. If I look over at my desktop, I won't see these changes yet. All of these changes are still non-destructive. We can go play around with them and fiddle with them and so forth. With a single image edit, once you're finished with it and you want to, in my scenario, give it back to a friend that asked me to do some edits, I need to export it. So we need to go up to export and choose export image and send that out to a JPEG or a TIFF or whatever is necessary. The, the non-destructive edits are still tracked inside the catalog, but they're not part of like your core set of folders. They're like this little you know, private area off to the side in these single image edits. And once you're finished with a single image edit, you can simply right click on it and say remove it. I'm no longer going to be worrying about this. I'm done with it. That was the last one that I had, so that shortcut goes away. And then all of my uh, rest of my library is, is untouched. So single image edits are really for one-off edits. I wouldn't expect there to be too many of them sitting around in your uh, Luminar catalog in that single image edit shortcut because they're transitory. They're for things that you didn't want to have as part of your entire library. But that's what they are and that's how they're a little different than the rest of the photos that you'd have in your Luminar catalog. Hope this helps you out. Hope it gave you a little more information. Got any questions about photography? Drop them in the comments below or if you want to keep it private, you can send me a message through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.